Hey guys, welcome back. I had a similar eye look on in a recent video and in some things that I posted on my Instagram and Snapchat and I used my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette which I hadn't been using a lot lately and just decided to pull it out that day. And several of you asked for a tutorial so I thought I would just do it today for you guys and this is what came out i think it came out pretty similarly i tried to recreate it as best as i could it's easy it's doable for every day that's what i try to do when i do eyeshadow looks and this eyeshadow tutorial is perfect for hooded eyes downturned eyes small eyes all those eye shapes and it can be done using any eyeshadow palette you don't have to have this particular palette just any gradient shadows that you want to use really i'm going to ask that you ignore the under eye situation that i have going on today i have been trying to wrap up some extensive concealer testing that i have going on looking at various concealers for mature or textured eyes and i think i'm about to wrap it up but i do have two different concealers on underneath my eyes so just ignore that whole situation if you don't mind but if you do want to get a similar graduated look that is definitely wearable for every day and is easy to achieve just keep watching i can't remember the exact order that i did everything in i'm just gonna go with it and hope that it gets me where i want to be i'm gonna first take mousse which is this neutral shade right here kind of light and take it in the crease and above the brow bone i do already have my mac soft ochre paint pot on and I topped it with translucent powder so that it would give my shadows a nice canvas and a nice smooth surface to start on. But I'm just gonna take this above the brow bone just to give that hood a little bit of a lift. Circular rainbow motions, nothing precise here. And there's a hair. And that's all I'm gonna do on both eyes. And again, this is just kind of a start, nothing precise or anything. You can already see if you look up that this gives a lift to that brow bone. If you have hooded eyes, more hooded than I do, and you know, I have downturned eyes, this just gives a little bit of lift to that droop of the brow bone. So I'm gonna do this to the other side. And I think I worked from the middle and outwards on each side. And I took this bonbons shade right here, which is kind of a coppery, rosy, metallic color and i just dipped my flat brush in tapped off any excess and i'm putting that right in the middle of the lid and just tapping it and pressing it and i just want that to be the high point and i'm just not blending it not doing anything just putting it right in the middle of the lid So I'm gonna clean that same brush off and I'm using my color switch. I got this from Amazon. It is FF Lemon, I think is the brand. Um, I'll link it below if they still have it, but it's really great if you wanna clean your brushes off in between each shadow color. So that just totally took that color off. And now I'm gonna dip that into this Butter Pecan shade and just pat that onto the inner third of my lid. And now I'm gonna blend those edges right along this crease and right along those two colors. But I don't wanna blend them too much because then it becomes muddy. Now I'm gonna take a pencil brush, this is a MAC 219, into Truffled right here. And this is just a warm brown color, no shimmer, nothing like that. And I'm going to take this in kind of a V shape, extending this lower lash line, almost like I'm lining, except I'm not. So see how that just kind of goes up and I'm just almost gonna take it like I'm doing a liner. And then I'm gonna make a little bit of a V right there, kind of small. So 
So it looks kind of messy right now. So I'm really just filling in this outer triangle right here. Almost drawing it in, if you will. And I'm trying hard not to lift my brow. It's hard for me not to do that. I'm sure it's hard for you guys too. So I just filled in that outer third and now I'm gonna take that same blending brush and blend it along those edges. And it's just a soft blend because I do wanna keep some definition there between the colors. So now in looking at this, I feel like I wanna see a little bit more of that rosy metallic color in the middle. So I'm just gonna tap some more of that on my lid, which will also help blend in this color a little bit more. And I'm just barely gonna blend that. And you can do this wet too and get a little bit more drama, but since I'm going to work, I'm not gonna wet it. And so it just almost looks like a gradient going from light to the dark color which is what I want. So now I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush, this is the MAC 217, and I'm gonna take it in peanut butter, which is a pretty famous color. It's what the peanut butter and jelly palette is known for. I'm gonna dip it in, tap off the excess, and I'm going to lightly start here on my hood, almost going in a diagonal from my outer corner up to my brow bone and i'm just going to kind of drop it there very lightly you almost can't even feel it um and i'm just gonna take it in an arch motion and this gives a little bit of warmth that i didn't have before just from that was that schmoose color and it helps blend in the tops of those shades that we just put on the lid and I don't want it going any further than this line here, really. So it's just kind of going up. I need to know if you can see that really. That's okay. I just want it to be very subtle. But it just helps blend everything in. So now I'm going to take an M508 by Morphe. You can take any just flat domed brush. And I'm going to take the mousse shade and just lightly run it underneath my lash line and this is going to kind of connect all of this together and i'm going to take peanut butter next just right underneath here i'm going to take that truffled shade and just do it under the outer third okay now i'm taking coconut cream which is the shade right here, and I'm gonna do my highlighting on my brow bone and on my inner corner. And you just wanna do it right underneath the brow bone so it doesn't drag that hood back down that you have tried so hard to lift. I can't remember what I lined with that day. I wanna say it was hot fudge though, which is this color right here. And it's kind of a plummy brown. Um, so I'm just gonna do that again today. And um, I'm just gonna do this really, really quick. I'm not gonna talk through it. And I'm gonna use, I think, just my angle brush and line with it. And because the peanut butter shade is going down a little bit further than what I want below this liner, I'm gonna smudge this really quickly with the It Cosmetics Small Shadow Brush number 220, just to, I don't know, bring those together a little bit more. Sometimes what I do after I do a wing, I'll take more of whatever dark color I have going on in the outer V or on the outer third of my lid, and I'll extend it a little bit more out towards this wing. I'm pretty sure I did that on this day. It just makes your eyes look a little more elongated, a little wider set, a little bigger. Um, you can do it with black if you want. It kind of grounds it, or you can just take more of the same shade that you used. 
I think I may use the same hot fudge shade that I made my wing with. I'm just gonna take it and put it right there. And what it does is it makes your lid look wider than it is. It's great if you have close set eyes or small eyes. And again, this is an optional step. You don't have to do this, but I just find sometimes I like to do it and blend. I hope you enjoyed this video, getting this look out of the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And you can really use any palette or single shadows to achieve a very similar look. And it was pretty easy to achieve as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're not following me on social media, I'm very active on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll put those on the screen and down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.